Hello, this is Eric Widara. I'm the lead developer of the OER microscope that was developed in collaboration by OTC, the Open Textbook Collaborative, and a few schools, including Middlesex County College and County College of Morris. Uh, I'd like to talk to you for a minute about how to use the specimen folders and the, the full slide box buttons of the microscope. So the first thing you want to do is be able to have some specimens or an entire slide box on our folder on your computer. So what we have is I have a whole bunch of specimens and these were pictures taken uh, by my colleagues in three different magnifications. Uh, in theory, it'll work with only one magnification or a hundred, but typically you have three to four magnifications, uh, four, 10, 40, right? And if we take a look at these, this is the four, this is the 40 or a 10, and this is the 40, and it's more zoomed in. Now, if you want to make a custom specimen that you load into the microscope, you will need to have these images on your computer in a folder. Um, we used a, an iPhone attachment in order to take pictures of the specimen at those three different magnifications. And then the important thing is that you put them all in a folder in alphabetical order. So you see these are acid fast four, acid fast 10, acid fast 40. They're all the same name and the only difference is the number at the end. That's because the microscope is going to load them in alphabetical order. So it's going to think that the smallest zoom is the first picture in the folder. Okay, so if I were to change this to Z acid fast, it's going to mess up how it's loaded, right? So I'll just change that back before going back to the microscope. Now to load a specimen folder, all we have to do is click the button and in the in microscope browser, the in-app browser, I'm going to find where I saved my microscope images. I have a nice neat organized folder called microscope images. I'm going to go to all slide folders, which I have on my computer and I'm going to load Amoeba. And I'll click load. And what I'm doing there is I'm choosing the entire folder. And just like any specimen, I have to use the course focus in order to see the actual uh, specimen. And you'll notice that it's blurred in the microscope. That's by design because we want students to use the fine focus in order to actually focus the specimen when you get it in. And then the uh, 10 times and the 40 times are also loaded uh, as, as normally. Now, if you'd like, this microscope has the ability to load an entire slide box and the Open Textbook Collaborative will be hosting uh, entire slide boxes and over 90 specimens. So you can download it from their site. But if we take a look at this, process, the load full slide box, what we're going to need to do is, I'll show you what, how to set it up behind the scenes. Uh, a full slide box usually has a course name, and then it has all of the specimens inside of it. Okay. Um, so for 132, which is the example we are going to use, it has one folder, 132. So I'll draw a little box here. This is one folder, which is bio 132, which leads to another folder, which is full of folders of specimens. Okay, so the, the basic structure is your course folder, which includes a folder for each specimen. Specimen one, specimen two, so on and so forth. And within each specimen, of course, the specimen is going to have at one to three pictures inside of it. So if I were to go inside of this amoeba, we see that it has three pictures here, or the letter E, it has three pictures, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load slide box and I'll clear my annotations here load full slide box. I will 
navigate to microscope images and we'll choose 132. Now this will have a delay because the program needs to create an image for every image it finds inside of this folder. And again, we do not want to choose any of these folders inside of the course folder. We want to choose the course folder itself. When I click load, we'll have to wait for uh, anywhere from 10 to 20 seconds as it is going through each specimen and saying, okay, uh, specimen one, one, two, three, specimen two, one, two, three, specimen three, one, two, three, four. And then what we have in the top right is our custom folder full of all of our specimens. And you can just ignore the Z that I put in front of every other, um, every folder here. That, that, that was just for organizational purposes. But now I can lead paramecium, I can load paramecium. And that's from a folder on my computer. And it has all of the paramecium images in high def. And it's, it's wonderful, it's fantastic. Um, yeah, and then we can go back to courses and we can go back to bio 132 and we'll see it, it's the same, except um, you know it's a different order because of the alphabetical order. And that's how you load custom specimens and full slide boxes using the OTC OER microscope. Thanks for watching. And um, I hope you find some good use out of this, this tool that we created.